In this tutorial, we are going to create content loader like this. Try different type of content loader like list, bullet list, Facebook post, Instagram post, and custom content loader. So you can use this beautiful loading instead of circular loading or just loading text. To show content loader, we use React Content Loader Package. Let's install it. After creating your React application, open a new terminal and npm install React Content Loader. Then go to app.js and add padding 20 pixel and remove background color and color from it. We are going to show the content loader color, so we have to make the background white. Then go to app.js and get rid of content inside header and import content loader as a default import and list, bullet list, bullet list, Facebook and Instagram as a named import from React content loader. We are going to try all of them. Next step is creating a state. In the app component, define user state hook for loading, import user state from React, then create use effect hook like this. Import use effect from React. The first parameter for use effect is the function that we're gonna call on page load. In this function, create set timeout and inside that, set loading to false after three seconds and in the return part, clear the timeout. So on removing this component, we remove the timeout too. I just make it commented set loading because I'm going to show the content loader. At the end, I will uncomment it and use loading as it should be. Let's go to the header section and try the first content loader. Create heading one for list content loader and simply create list component. It comes from the React content loader. Save the code and there we are. We simply created a list type content loader. Let's go for the next one, bullet list. After list, create heading one for bullet list. And aha, uh -huh, here is bullet list. The next is Facebook. Aha, uh -huh, it's like a Facebook post. Instagram, yes. Instagram, the user, name of user, and the image of Instagram post. The last one is custom content loader. To create it, we need to define content loader like this. Let me make it smaller to see the all content. Aha. Uh -huh. The content loader is coming from the React content loader and we define the speed of animation, width and height. If we check the result, this is the custom content loader, but we can make it customized. For example, I'm going to show this rectangle with this radius and this width. When I save it, uh -huh, here is a rectangle. And I add two more rectangles with different X and Y. Yeah, this one is my custom content loader. Let's apply set loading. Imagine in the use effect, we send an Ajax request and after three seconds, we're gonna show the data. In the meantime, we are going to show the content loader like this. So use loading right before the header like this and move all header inside loading. And here, what I'm gonna show is just a div. Data is here. So after three seconds, I have data is here. If I refresh the page, I have loading for three seconds. And after that, data is here. Awesome, we successfully implemented content loader using React content loader package.